How to make a cake shaped like a hockey puck. Today I'm going to show you how I made a Toronto Maple Leaf sports cake for a hockey birthday. Hi, I'm Amanda Vandergulik from CleverDoughCakes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a cake shaped like a hockey puck. More specifically, a Toronto Maple Leaf sports cake for a hockey birthday fan. My wife is a Toronto Maple Leafs hockey sport fan and has managed to make me one too. Normally I would have just used a round pan to make this cake, but I had just finished making a few rectangle sponge cakes and had leveled off the tops, so I decided, since the tops were still good and yummy, to layer them together with my yummy mocha icing and to make a new cake for this hockey birthday sports themed cake. I printed off a Toronto Maple Leafs hockey puck picture that I'd found and I cut it out to use as my template. I then put on a first layer of the mocha icing to crumb coat the cake. That helps the cake crumbs stick to the cake so that they don't show through the final layer of icing. I let that chill and then put on a thicker layer of icing. I rolled out some chocolate fondant while the cake was cooling one last time. Then I covered it completely with the fondant and tucked in the bottom edge before trimming it with a paring knife. That helps to make sure that you don't trim the fondant too short. I then used the back of a thin cutting board that had a tire track kind of texture to it. And I transferred that pattern onto the edge of the cake to represent the textured edge of the hockey puck. I used black food coloring thinned down with some water, and then painted that all over the cake and let that dry. I then borrowed my daughter's X-Acto knife and cut out the different sections of the photo that I printed off earlier to make a template to cut those sections out in fondant to place back on the cake. I did find it a little hard to transfer over the cutout pieces of the circle since they were so thin they didn't really want to stay nice and round, but after a few attempts I managed to get them on and to sit nicely on the cake. My wife Cindy loved her Toronto Maple Leaf sports themed hockey cake, especially because I'd made the Toronto Maple Leafs 100 years of hockey hockey puck for her. Unfortunately, that year the Maple Leafs didn't win. And because I like to bring a cake to work to surprise Cindy for her birthday, and because she's a really avid hockey fan, I didn't want her colleagues to be teasing her with a cake reminding her of a team that had lost. So instead, I took off the Maple Leafs 100 Years logo and I replaced it with an NHL logo instead and she loved it and her colleagues loved it. They couldn't believe how real it looked and it tasted great too. It actually turned out so much nicer than we expected because when I had layered the cake tops from the other cakes, they were each very thin and so I had a lot of layers with a lot of thin layers of icing in between. This actually makes the cake really cool. When you put it in your mouth, it literally melted on your tongue as you ate it. It was delicious. We loved it. So my tip for you is never waste your cake scraps. You can always use them to create new cakes or fun things like cake pops. For more fun cake decorating ideas, go to cleverdoughcakes.com where I also have a free gift for you just to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And if you enjoyed this video, then click the like button and leave me a comment to let me know what you liked most of all. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when my next video comes out to help inspire you with more fun cake decorating ideas. Hey, if there's a particular kind of cake or a cake tip that you would like me to make for you, let me know in the comments below and I'll even do a shout out to thank you for your great idea. Thanks for watching.